One of the great things about having a high-powered gaming computer like the one behind me is that you can play some really awesome games. The only downside is that it has to run Windows, and that means that there is not really any great solutions to remotely accessing your computer. And to make matters even worse, the ones that do exist are not very good when it comes to gaming remotely. Well, I think I found the perfect solution to both of those issues. This is called Parsec, and not only does it allow you to remotely manage your computer, but you can also play games with very low latency. I recently discovered Parsec based on a suggestion from a fellow video editor. He's a colorist and he uses Parsec to remotely access his work computer from home to do his color grading in DaVinci Resolve. It works really great for playing back all of the red raw footage that he edits on. And I figured that if it's good enough to play back without any frames dropped footage, it should be pretty good for remotely accessing my computer. The main advantages and talking points of Parsec is the gaming, and I'll get to that in a second, but I want to talk about just remotely accessing your computer. Mac OS has a built-in screen sharing feature, which works so good. It's really nice to have it internally in your network. It does not work externally, but it works very well inside your network. There's really not much of a thing that exists on Windows. They have Windows remote management, but it's very, very bad, and nothing really works that great. VNC Viewer has been my go-to for a while and it's okay, but Parsec is designed really well and it works seamlessly across all of your platforms. And I found that it is by far the best option available when it comes to remotely accessing your computer. The great thing about this is that there is very low latency and it's almost like you're reusing the computer right in front of it. This is one of the advantages of having been focused towards gamers, but it works really well for any other application you may be using. It's undeniable that Parsec is really great for remotely accessing your computer, but as it comes to gaming, this is really the only thing on the market that allows you to game remotely. And I have to say it works really well. For this demo, I am using my Mac just down the hall on the same network. What I'm using is an Xbox controller connected over Bluetooth to my Mac Pro, and that is then being transferred over along with the signal and video feed to this computer behind me. And I'm using the Xbox controller connected on the Mac to control the Windows computer. And it works pretty well. You can change your bandwidth settings and your resolution right inside of Parsec. So you can get the perfect settings based on your internet connectivity. And you can also connect controllers as I've already mentioned. I played a couple of games using Parsec and I have to say it's really great. The benefits of this application are so good when it comes to just using your computer remotely as you would normally. But when it comes to gaming, it does hold to weight pretty well. I have played a couple of games and the results are pretty good. The first game I played was SnowRunner and it works really well. There is very little light at all and not really something I notice. It works pretty much exactly how you expect it to. The only thing is the image quality is a little bit less and you can definitely tell there is some compression on the image. But other than that, it doesn't affect the gaming experience that bad. Next game I played was a little more demanding and that's GTA 5. This one is much faster paced and there's a lot more going on screen at any given time. For this, I did notice a little bit of a delay. It was still completely playable, just something I noticed a little annoying and made the game a little more difficult, but for the most part, it worked fairly well. I also played a couple of other games, some slower paced ones, some faster paced ones, and the results were pretty similar. The faster paced games do seem to have more of a delay. They all probably have the same delay, but it's more noticeable on a faster paced game like GTA 5 compared to SnowRunner, but that delay could be partially my Bluetooth connection on the controller, could partially be the remote connection. Again, this is all done locally in the network. Externally out of your network is going to be different and your results may vary, but for me, it's a really great app to control your computer, how I've always wanted to just control it, but it also is super good for gaming. I'm going to use this mainly to just remotely control my computer, but whenever I do want to have a game session remotely, is going to work super well. The best thing about Parsec is that it's completely free. There are some paid options if you're using this in a work and team environment. Having teams control a certain computer, you can get certain team accounts and you can pay for that. For the general user, it's absolutely free. There are several settings you can dial in to make it just right for you. And the best thing is that it works on everything. You can use it on your Mac, you can use it on your Windows computer, and you can use this for more than just games. You don't have to use it for games, but if you want to, it works really well. This is not something I can say on any other platform. You cannot play games 
on any other remote connection. I used DNC, it did not work out. This works really well. If you want to learn more, I'll have a link to it in the description below. If you have any questions, let me know. If you like this video, leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark of That Tech, and I will see you in the next one.